and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a review slash comparison of these two bags. So I asked you guys in my what's in my bag that I recently did of sharing my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM video if you would like to see a comparison of the MM size and the GM size and I got a lot of feedback saying that you guys would like to see that. So today I am going to film that for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate that and leave me a comment below letting me know that this is the first time you've seen my videos so we can have a little chat. So let's go ahead and get into the comparison. First off, before I get started in the exact details of each bag, I wanted to quickly mention that I do have a blog post. It will be going up live the same time as this video, so if you want, please check that out. I will leave a link to that right here. And everything that I'm going to say in this video will be in that blog post, and I will have a lot of links. I will also link everything in the description bar below that I discuss. But if you want to see a written out version of what I'm going to say with a little more details with all the specific dimensions of the bags, the pricing, um, my thoughts, just a whole in-depth review, be sure to check that post out. I would really appreciate it and I will leave a link down below as well as right here. So in order to kind of compare the bags, I wanted to give you a quick little story of how I got each one of them and how kind of like bring you up to speed on my experience with both of these bags. Okay, so the first bag that I actually owned of the two was the Louis Vuitton GM. I have this bag in the monogram canvas with the burgundy interior, and I actually received this bag as a gift a few years ago, probably in maybe 2013 or 2014. I received this bag as a gift from my parents um, for getting accepted into a school that I wanted to go to for quite a long time, so they surprised me with this bag as a school bag and I have used it off and on for various different things ever since. So I loved the GM so much, I got so much use out of it, I used it for school, not every single day but I used it quite a lot, I used it for travel, I just used the bag for everything. So fast forward to this year, 2016, I graduated college and I was just really wanting to buy myself something to remember that by. I was College was not exactly my best years of life, so I was really happy that I was finally done. I wanted to treat myself to something special, and so I was like, I'm going to get a handbag. And I wanted something for the summer. I researched the Celine luggage tote for a long time. That is what I wanted to buy. However, then I did see this beauty. So I loved my Neverfull, the GM size, so much that I thought that this would be a great investment. Um, comparably speaking to a lot of other designer bags, the Neverfull is probably the best bang for your buck that you can get. It's by no means a cheap bag, however, compared to like Chanel, um, you know, Saint Laurent, like a lot of other bags, this bag is pretty inexpensive and you can use it for so many things that I'm going to discuss in just a few minutes. So I wanted a bag for the summer, I decided to go for the Damier Azur print and of course, I fell in love with the Rose Ballerine interior. So I am going to talk all about the bags, each size, the canvas, and the interior lining. So let's go ahead and get into that, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory as to how I wound up with both of these bags, because you might be thinking it's a little crazy to have the same bag in two different sizes. However, I believe that they can serve two completely different purposes. <laughs> So just a little bit of an overview of the Neverfull itself. This bag comes in three sizes. It comes in various canvases and interior lining colors. So all of those details will be linked at my blog post below. So I'm not going to talk about the PM size in this video. I'm just going to talk about the MM and the GM. So I love the makeup of this bag. Obviously it's a tote bag. Um, the a lot of people are questionable about the fact that it doesn't have a zipper on the top. So this little lock here is the only way to open and close the bag, which actually leaves the basically the entire bag open for people to stick their hands in. However, it also helps you if you're stuffing it so full of things um, and you don't want to zip it, you can still, I'm still able to get the little lock closure shut if I have a ton of stuff in the bag. So it also comes with the clutch. Um, the older versions of this bag don't have this. Some people didn't like the price increase, however, I love this. I feel like this bag is two in one. So I use this all the time. You can, it's canvas on the outside, it comes with a little strap, so you can either attach this 
into the little hook inside the bag or you can loop it around as I have it here because I use this all the time, I use this all summer um, as a clutch. So it also has the Rose Ballerine interior and then it has itself has a little pouch inside. You can fit a lot of stuff in this. This is really great if you want to keep some makeup items, some feminine products. If you're using this for school, I would hate to say put your pencils and pins in there, but you could do that. You could put, I put my calculator in there, cell phone, it fits. Like I can fit lip gloss in here, my cell phone, my keys, a small wallet, my powder compact. I can fit so much stuff. So be sure to see the blog post pictures um, to see what all fits in these bags. But I love it because it's like two separate bags. Um, as I mentioned, the inside does have a zip pouch, a zip pocket here, so it fits a good deal. The GM size obviously fits so much more than the MM size. And I did want to quickly mention that the inside little zip pouch is the same size for all the bags. So you're going to get the same thing no matter what size you purchase. So that's a great aspect. So on each side of the bag, you can kind of cinch it in. I usually never do this because I do have to say this is probably one of my le not least favorite things about the bag because it's very convenient. However, whenever I do this to my bag, one side always ends up coming undone and the other doesn't and then it looks goofy. I don't really have any purpose to do this. I use these bags because they hold a lot of stuff, so obviously I want to maximize the amount of space I'm using inside of the bag, but that is an option if you are interested. So it has the leather straps that I find, some people find them difficult to carry on your shoulder. Um, I never really find that mine come undone unless I have my bag loaded down with stuff. If I have a ton of stuff in the bag, obviously the outer strap is going to slip off. It does slip off quite a bit. Um, let's see, it has the gold hardware on the bag, both of them do, all of them do. One more thing I wanted to mention, I have never used this, however, a lot of people do have um, bag inserts, so if that's something that you're interested in, I will try to find some and link them below. However, I haven't ever personally used them. I just know that the Neverfull is a very popular bag um, for people to use, like bag organizer inserts. Um, if you have used them, let me know in the comments below how you like them. I haven't, um, so my bag tends to be a mess. However, that's what I love the little clutch for, and I love the inside pocket for. So you have two pockets, pouches that zip closed, which some other tote bags don't offer that, so in comparison to a few other bags, this is a really great option for that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about the GM first since I did own this bag first. Um, I have this in the monogram canvas, like I mentioned, with the dark burgundy interior. I'm not sure exactly the name of this, however, I'll find it and link it below. Um, and I have always loved this bag. So, I used this bag quite a bit through college, and once I purchased the MM, I found there is really a complete difference, in my opinion. Okay, obviously it's the same bag, um, but in my opinion, there's a huge difference in this bag in the MM size. So, first of all, I wanted to mention the price, um, which between the two of these, there's really not a big price difference. Only $80. Oh, it's from me. <laughs> there's only an $80 price difference between the two. The GM size is $1,340. I'm not sure exactly how that compares to other currencies, however, in the U.S. that is the price. Um, I did want to, this is a really big bag. <laughs> okay, so I did want to quickly mention that the dimensions, so the length of this bag is 15.7 inches in length, 13 inches in height, and 7.9 inches in width, down here on the bottom. I will say that I have noticed, I have carried this bag quite a bit, but I don't feel like the leather has patina it as bad, or not as bad as much, as some other bags. I feel like the MM bag that I have has patina quite a bit. I've only had this since May, and I've had obviously this one for a couple of years. So in my opinion, I feel like this bag has held its own. I've carried it quite a bit. I've stuffed the GM very full. Um, but I don't, I feel like it's in really good condition. I don't have any wear and tear issues with the GM in the monogram canvas at all. I would say that the interior lining is really, I would say that the interior lining is a great option. It doesn't show any marking, any scratching. I hate to say this, but I'm not careful with these bags. I load them full. I put shoes in them. I put makeup in them. I put skincare items in them. Thankfully, I haven't had anything bust, but shoes have scratched everything, tennis shoes, gym, 
um, clothes, so I would say that this is a really great interior option. As for the GM size, I love it so much. However, after having the MM, I would say that I would use the GM solely for travel and carrying big things. I use it a lot when I'm visiting our house because I can fit all the contents of my purse. My laptop, when I went to school, I could fit textbooks in it. I could fit, you know, calculators, cameras, everything that I want. The bag fits so much stuff. So I would say that the bag is definitely something that you want to have in your collection. If you're like me and you have a love for handbags and you have the money, I would say it's a great bag to own in your collection. However, when I think about the bag these days versus when I first got it, I would say that this isn't like a handbag to me. It's not something I'm going to carry every day. However, I do use it probably two or three times a week just for general purposes. If you're a mom, I think it's great. It's probably, I'm not a mom, I don't know anything about that. So I would say that if you're looking for a bag to carry around with you that needs to fit a lot of stuff, it needs to fit all of your stuff, all of your family stuff, snacks, shoes, whatever it is that you're carrying, it's a great option. For school, it's a great option. Um, I personally loved backpacks. I found them so much more comfortable, so I didn't carry it quite as much on days that I didn't have as many things or I was just carrying my agenda and my laptop, then I would carry this. However, if I had like a lot of textbooks, I found it really heavy on my shoulders, so I wouldn't carry it. Also, the GM size, I'm really short. Well, not really short, I'm just about 5'3". So I would say that this bag is good for people who are a little bit taller. It's a taller bag in height, so it's going to be really great for you if you're a bit taller. If you're short like me, um, it looks really large, so that's just something to keep in mind. Overall, I think the GM size is a great option to have in your closet, in your collection, if you do collect bags. I also think that the monogram canvas is something that is just very classic. It's always going to be classic. It's neutral. It is kind of not bomb proof, but it's really great if you don't care like a lot. Not care a lot, but it's really great if you're using this bag all the time, if it's going to get worn, if it's going to, you know, see a lot of weather, rain, you know, whatever, if you're using it a lot. I would recommend the Monogram Canvas versus the Damier Azure. So I definitely think this versus the white, obviously you're going to get more wear out of it. It's going to be a little bit more durable and a little bit more um, accepting and forgiving to scratches, marks, dents, everything like that. Now, to discuss a little bit about the MM bag, obviously the price is a little bit cheaper than the GM. However, when you think about it, for the amount of bag you get, the GM is definitely probably a better buy. Um, at $1,340, the MM size is $1,260 US dollars. So you're paying basically the same thing for a smaller bag. Um, however, if you are looking for a purse or a handbag, I would recommend the MM size. So having both of them, I definitely use the GM for tote, travel, stuff like that. The MM size is something that I would reach for every day. Um, obviously, the dummy as a print is a little bit more popular in the summer. I don't, where I live, I can't carry it in the winter because it's cold. I guess I could, but we'll see how that works. <laughs> um, so yes, the MM size is 12.6 inches in length, 11.4 inches in height, and 6.7 inches in width. So it is a little bit shorter by a couple of inches and a little bit um, shorter in length by a couple of inches. So like I mentioned, I would definitely use this bag as a everyday handbag. I will say though, out of having this and using it, and I use all of my bags, it's not like I treat them, you know, I do try to take care of them, however I do use them, I don't keep them on a shelf all the time. The Rose Ballerine interior is absolutely gorgeous. This is the combination I wanted the bag in. I wanted the Damier Azure with the Rose Ballerine interior. However, the Rose Ballerine interior is not forgiving. Um, it shows, I don't know if you can really see, but it shows every little mark on the inside. Um, scratches, whether it's from shoes, whether it's from, you know, small leather goods, whether it's from, you know, money or coins or pens, anything like that, the Rose Ballerine is going to show that. Um, as with the M, or as with the GM, it has the inside pocket. It also comes with the little clutch, which I got a lot of use out of this summer. However, I would say that the MM is definitely handbag size. But I definitely love this bag, and I am interested in purchasing other handbags, so I'm not going to purchase the monogram canvas in the MM size. However, that is what I would go for if you have the money to buy like a summer bag only. I like to buy things that I can use year-round, so this is kind of the first 
purchase for me that is re restricted sort of to seasonal wear, I would say go for the monogram. Um, and definitely probably not go for the Rose Ballerine interior, or if you do kind of wear this combination lightly, don't wear it a lot. Um, however, I will say that I got a lot of warnings with the Dummy Azure canvas saying not to wear it with jeans. I am a jeans girl. I wear it all the time with jeans, and I haven't had any problem with transfer. However, I know a lot of people do. I haven't had that problem, and I'm very thankful for that. But at the end of the day, I would say that the MM size is definitely handbag size, and the GM size is definitely a tote bag. So I hope that you found this review helpful. I have mixed feelings about everything. I feel like I've covered a lot in a short amount of time, and I've done a lot of talking very fast, probably. However, um, I really love the Neverfull bag. I think that you should go to the store and you should do your research and find out which canvas is right for you, which size is right for you. Go to the store, try them on, think about what you're going to be using it for. If you have the money to have both, I would recommend having both if you can. If you, I hate to recommend that, but um, for me, I like to buy things that I'm going to get a lot of use out of that are going to be investment pieces that aren't going to go out of style. I don't feel like these bags are going to go out of style and I'm always going to get so much use out of them. I have no reason to buy another tote bag. I'm totally covered. Um, I have a tote handbag. I have a tote tote bag that would fit so much stuff in it. I could probably pack, um, I don't know, two nights. I don't know. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. I use it for travel. It's basically always my carry-on bag. Um, I just use them for so much. For, for the money, the GM is definitely the better buy. You pay $80 more and you get a lot more space. However, the MM size is definitely more of a handbag style. Um, I really love the inside clutch. I think you can get so much wear out of it. I just feel like the Neverfull is such a wonderful bag. I can't really rave enough about it. I just feel like you're buying two bags in one, and this is coming from someone that just fully uses their bags. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Please also see the blog post that I mentioned. I will leave it in a link down below. Um, and you can also see these bags, how much I can fit in them and how I wear them and what they look like on me. I'll put my height and everything on that um, blog post. But I just really love the bag and I hope that you found this review helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment and I will try to answer them for you. And if you have any recommendations or any thoughts or what you liked, what you didn't like about the bag, please leave them in a comment below also because you could totally help someone out. Um, I'm a firm believer in researching and watching these videos, so that's why I wanted to share this with you. I, before I purchased the bag, I watch a million videos, I read so many reviews, so if this is helpful for you, that really makes it worth it for me. And um, yeah, so if you have any tips or requests or questions or comments, leave them down below so we can have a discussion about the bags. I think they're totally worth it. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And check out all my social media links down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.